We've identified a cat that had um, respiratory signs and the sample that was submitted to the Veterinary Diagnostic Service Laboratory uh, tested positive for the SARS coronavirus 2. Well, the sample that was submitted to the Veterinary Diagnostic Service Laboratory at the University of Glasgow, um, it was tested using a similar test to that is used for human samples uh, called the polymerase chain reaction or PCR uh, test, which looks directly for virus in the sample. And this tested positive, it was a clear positive from this cat. Well, the cat lived uh, in a household in which one of the owners was infected. They were confirmed to be positive, uh, we believe. And so we, um, it's reasonable to assume that the infected person transmitted virus from themselves to their, their pet cat. Well, similarly to human-to-human -human transfer, we believe that human-to-cat transfer occurs through um, virus in droplets. So if um, through a sneeze or a cough, for example, um, landing on the cat and cat, the cat's um, oral respiratory um, epithelium, and so the virus just enters the, the cat and infects the cat in the same way um, as it would infect another human with close contact. There's absolutely no evidence so far of cat-to-human transfer. Um, there is no evidence of cat-to-cat -cat transfer in, the f in, in nature, but experimentally, uh, some groups have shown that it is possible for cats that have been experimentally infected with the COVID-19 virus to uh, transmit their infection to cats that are housed um, in close proximity.